We've come to Isla Mujeres, Mexico to meet up with local fishermen who are working hard on changing the trajectory for the most important species of our oceans, sharks. My name is Will and this is Olia. We are professional filmmakers who jumped on a sailboat and are exploring the globe in search of inspiring stories and people along the way. We hope you enjoy this series, and if so, tap the subscribe button so you can follow our adventure. Isla Mujeres, meaning Island of Women in Spanish, is a small touristy island nestled in the turquoise waters of the Caribbean Sea. This place is an absolute blast. And of course, when you come to Mexico, you've got to try the food. Time for the best birria tacos you've ever had. And they're close. <laughs> oh my god, he dreamed about this place all day long. You may remember Alvaro from a previous episode who's circumnavigating the planet by sea -Doo. He recommended that we meet up with a local organization here that's dedicated to saving sharks. We are going to meet up with a fisherman turned shark diver. Um, I think that's what it is. I could be completely full of shit, so I don't want to say too much. But um, we're going to go meet somebody anyway, see where it leads. Hopefully it's a good afternoon, good reason to be in Mexico. But what we actually saw completely shocked us. Fair warning, the following images may be hard for some of you to watch. hard to watch like you you hear about these things and it, but it's like very different from being like right there to see all these amazing creatures just being pulled and gutted and all that kind of stuff but it was really good to see that they're like aware you know the guys doing it they're saying we don't want to be doing this so that's the story we need to tell and that's when we met Pam Although she isn't comfortable with the sight of dead sharks, she's optimistic about the future. She told us that before shark conservation, this place was covered with dead bodies, and now it's significantly less. Fishermen in Isla Mujeres fish lobster, fish fishes, and also sharks. Sharks is one of their most important fisheries. They have been fishing sharks from three generations in here. So uh, shark meat, it's really important for the Mexican people because we eat it, no? We need to be more responsible on, on our consumption because it's not possible that we are eating those animals, those majestic animals in our quesadillas, no? Sharks have graced this planet for 450 million years, long before the appearance of the first hominid species, which emerged a mere 7 million years ago. It's disheartening to realize that there is a direct correlation between the decrease of the shark population globally and the increase of humans on our planet. More than 100 million sharks are killed by humans each year, with some species facing the threat of extinction. The media often portrays these majestic creatures as monsters, but guess what? On average, only five people per year are killed by sharks. 
just five. You're actually more likely to die from a rogue champagne cork to the face, claiming 24 lives per year. However, in this episode, we'll do our best to show that these creatures are truly remarkable and deserve our admiration. After all, shouldn't we protect and respect the elders of the ocean? Saving Our Sharks is an NGO uh, that was founded in here in Quintana Roo 13 years ago with the objective of sharks conservation. And we are trying uh, to make some alternatives with our partners, the fishermen, to uh, make another kind of um, livelihood. This will be um, to pass from fishery to uh, the management of the resources uh, doing ecotourism and scientific tourism with sharks. What they did was offer fishermen a substantial salary to incentivize them to cease shark fishing and instead pursue livelihoods in the tourism industry, which includes activities such as diving with sharks, scientific tagging, and nature tourism. This ambitious project has been met with enthusiasm by the fishermen, who are embracing the opportunities it presents. They have already begun studying tourism, learning English, and fully engaging in the process. I have been working as a fisherman for 64 years. It wasn't my choice. It's what I grew up with, and this job provides food for my family. Now, we are all very happy to collaborate with Save the Sharks, because we can see a brighter future for our kids. It's also nice to understand that our knowledge about sharks can help scientists and contribute to this program. Ready for the sharks. As long as they know we're going to stay next to you, right? They don't yeah, yeah, yeah. So little of us in uh, We go to yeah. Okay. As long as you don't go too far. Si, si, si. Okay. It's okay. 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 All right. Ready? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. This is your... having these groups from, uh, for six months. And well, right now, all the ecosystem is like getting alive again. A lot of fishes go, goes there. A lot of turtles are coming. So well, we are hoping that also sharks will come soon. Right now we have seen uh, one nurse shark, so it's super nice. And once uh, the fisherman got the cage and it was bitten. So, well, we are hoping uh, there is one tiger shark around that, <laughs> that we can see soon. tell you that, that these fishermen that we work with are grandpas. They are so lovely and they are really nice people with huge values. 
We know that they are not people that love to kill animals. This is, a, a, well, it's a job that they had. Sharks are at the top of the food chain and play a crucial role as doctors by feeding on dead and injured fish, thereby eliminating certain diseases. This helps keep the ecosystem free from harmful organisms and diseases. Another remarkable attribute of sharks is their role in carbon sequestration. As sharks patrol the ocean depths, they regulate the populations of their prey, preventing excessive grazing on seagrass beds and coral reefs. These ecosystems are known for their ability to capture and store carbon, making them valuable allies in the fight against climate change. By protecting these habitats, sharks indirectly contribute to the preservation of Earth's delicate carbon balance. And another very good reason to keep these majestic creatures alive is tourism. The way to provide a new value uh, for sharks is to teach how a shark is much a worth a life than death. If you fish a shark, you can have some thousands of pesos once, but if you keep it alive, you can dive with him and you can also recognize important ecological impact because you'll see the sea in a better uh, way, you know, in a better shape. All the populations will also recover. We can see that in Yellowstone with the wolves. When they came in, all the ecosystem recovery. So that's the thing that we want in here. Más vale un tiburón vivo que muerto. It's better a shark alive than dead. What I love about Save Our Sharks organization is that They've not only identified a problem, but they've come to them with a solution, prepackaged, right? It's not just, hey, you're doing it wrong, stop it. It's, you know, rather than making money off a shark one time, you know, you can actually create a tourism business and, you know, from the same shark, kind of, you know, have a lucrative business. That's, those are the types of stories that we really want to chase. And those people that, are working towards those solutions are so cool to be around. It's invigorating and it makes us want to go do more, you know. Not only not only more filming but actually what can we do in our own lives. So should we stop to eat sharks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all that shark meat that we have on board. Sure. Thanks for coming along on our journey and look forward to sharing the next one with you. Beach will be in Florida. You don't know Just that. Just say that. <laughs>